Cleveland's going to be without power come midnight. Well, for the hundredth time, John, Cleveland is going to be fine. Besides, I'm fairly certain that this Y2K thing isn't that good at the end of the day. Uh, it won't be as long as the numbers add up. John, when in the history of the human race have numbers not adding up ever been a big deal? Black Tuesday, lifeboats on the Titanic, and the Challenger explosion. <laughs> okay, okay, that was then, this is now. All right, it's almost the year 2000. We're going to be fine. You know, unless there's some sort of an action. How many times do I have to tell you not to say that word? What word? You know what word. I'm not sure what word. You said the A word. I did not call you an asshole. Not an asshole! <laughs> accident! Damn it, Ted! Oh, I'm sorry, I accidentally said accident. Again, twice! That was an accident. Okay, maybe sorry. to say it twice was like an unfortunate event, but uh, <laughs> to say it three times in four seconds, that's intentional. Accidentally intentional. Wait, no, that's Ted. The point is, I don't want to hear that word, okay? Nonsense. Your wife died? Diane. Right. Well, I, I mean, look, John, we've worked together for the past 14 years, and I have never intentionally hurt you, so I'm sorry, okay? And I'm sorry that she was in an accident. <laughs> Out of respect to Diane, I need you not to say that word. Hey, fine, but do I have to Wait, what did you say again? Unfortunate event? Oh, sounds so clunky. What about <laughs> mishap or misadventure? Calamity! A <laughs> calamity? Yeah, she was a person, not a Looney Tune. <laughs> I didn't know that. It's just that calamity has less syllable. Yeah, only one more than. You know, uh, uh, that word you want to Let's just. Get back to work, all right? Only a few more minutes till the millennium. We still got some work to do. Just... Look, John, it's not your fault. I know. Seriously, it's not your fault. Yeah, I know. No, you don't. <laughs> it's not your fault, John. I know. It's not your fault. Stop <laughs> trying to goodwill hunting me! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even in the car, okay? I'm depressed. Just Press. All right, well, I understand that you're still hurting, but, I mean, well, things are looking up for you right now. I mean, all things considered. All things considered? Yeah. There's only one fucking thing I'm constantly considering, that my wife and perfect partner for the last 14 years is dead. All things considered? Yeah, I'll be sure to count my blessings instead of counting all the things we're going to do in the next five years. You know, we were going to pay off our mortgage. We were going to see the world together. We were going to create beautiful children who would contribute Great things to society. Our firstborn, Emma, the nerdy sports kid. She would go on to Ohio State and become their first female starting quarterback. And then, after graduating at the top of her class and winning the Heisman Trophy twice, she would go on to be the first woman ever to go pro. And then in her rookie year, in the final game of the season, she'd suffer a terrible <laughs> she would retire at the age of 22 and become a brain trauma specialist. And she would revolutionize the NFL's concussion protocols. And then there's Michael. He <laughs> the classic middle child syndrome. Be the thorn in Diane's side throughout his teenage years, but despite all of his angst, he'll still be Diane's favorite. And after he's done with this rebellious stage, he'll go on to Johns Hopkins and become a Nobel winning OBGYN. <laughs> wow. Wait a second, did you say three kids? Oh, you mean Sam? Yeah. Um, what great things does Sam accomplish? <coughs> Doesn't matter. Because there's never going to be a Sam, a Michael, or an Emma. It's my wife is Sam. So, please, just get back to work. Look, John, I'm sorry for your loss, but... Losses. Right, losses. <laughs> but, 
You just have to keep looking on the bright side of what things. What is that? Okay, look at this, all right? You still have the house. It's an empty a house. A new promotion with a raise. I mean, between that and the insurance, you won't ever have to worry sure, about money. That's not and ever since your car went off. <laughs> Jesus, did yeah, you have a nice new one? Really? And you have your health? Okay, I might be healthy, but my soul is crippled, all right? Oh, okay, I see. So I can't say the A word, but you can say the C word. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want John? <laughs> I am sick and tired of watching you mope around here all the day. Okay? You have two legs, John. Two working legs. Alright? I don't. I, I used to run marathons. And now, just to get down to my mailbox, I have to load up on painkillers and hobble around on these goddamn gimmicks. Okay, I get it. It's shitty to be handicapped. But you were able to walk away from that crash, Diane Dickens. Look, sometimes things just happen and you have to accept them. If she had been at fault, maybe it would be easier to deal with. But she wasn't. She was the victim. Well, she wasn't the only victim, John. You can't call yourself a victim. Your wife yes. was in a car crash. I was in a car crash. Both of us victims. You can't be a victim, Ted. You caused the accident. I know what I said, Ted. I don't give a shit, okay? You were at fault. You took your eyes off the road. Your car hit Diane's. You were, you caused the accident. You can't be the victim. If anything, you're the vehicular manslaughterer. Well, manslaughter is not a word, John. I'm done arguing semantics with you. You killed my wife. Get back to work. You're right. You're absolutely right. I killed your wife. Sorry. I'm still sorry. I was an idiot. I admit it. All right. I was distracted. But not a day goes by where I wish that I had never called into that radio station on my car phone for those yachting tickets. <laughs> I mean, and, and if I didn't, that way, that you know, your wife would still be here with you, and you could have your amazing family. Both of my legs working. So we drive to my Miata. It's got to come and take the fucking bus everywhere. Do you know which public transportation sucks in this town, John? Oh, you have to take the bus. How sad for you. I should tell Diane that. John, you can't. She's dead, remember? She oh died in the my accident. God. Oh, my God. God. John, John, that was an accident. It was an accident, John. <laughs> got me this right after our trip to Myrtle Beach. It's our first vacation. It's your favorite picture of us. Right after she kicked my ass at the golf. She never was a very gracious winner. I've always been a super sore loser. <laughs> 14 years. I had no idea she wrote something at the bottom this whole time. Well, what she write? It's come on. Come on. That's it. I won mini golf. But more importantly, I won you. Okay. You know, she was a special lady that one. Very special. You know the thing I'm going to miss about her the most? What's that? The potato salad. <sighs> Wait a minute, when did you have her potato salad? Sometimes I would forget my lunch and you know. So it was you. Look, John. <laughs> <laughs> Point is, okay, that potato salad, it was perfect. I mean, the potatoes were always cooked with just the right firm to soft ratio. <laughs> And she put just enough mayonnaise in it to give it some flavor, but not too much as it to overwhelm the palate. She chopped the celery and onions with just such care and precision as if to coax the soul out of each vegetable. <laughs> and the dill. Let's overlook the ball, potato salad ingredients. 
people who swung delicately to create this heavenly harmony of taste and texture. John, she put her soul into that potato salad. And only a decent, amazing human being could have created such a loving and nourishing dish. So, I understand your pain. <laughs> I mean, I miss that potato salad as much as you miss her. <laughs> <laughs> you miss potato salad <laughs> as much as I miss my dead wife. I do. <laughs> Unbelievable! I'm so done with you! What, John? No, you know what? When that clock strikes midnight, I pray to God I never see you again. Well, well never is a long time, John. Oh, when I say never, I mean never. Oh, okay, John. I mean, if that's what you want, I mean, fine, but... Uh, I mean, you're still going to give me a ride home tonight after work, right? right? Absolutely. My my taxpayer dollars will cover you to your public transportation. But, 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 but John, I mean, it's it's freezing outside, and and and. But I don't care. I don't care what happens to you. If you were to die out there of exposure, and they hold me criminally negligent for your death, and I go to prison for a few years, doesn't matter. You killed my wife, so. <laughs> Whatever congenial relationship you and I have is done. As far as I can, I'm concerned, we're over in five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year, Sean. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch! I, I told you! I, I told you! Son of a fuck! God damn it! I, I told you why 2K was real. I told you. How was I supposed to know? You did remember to press save, right? Of course I remember to press save. Well, what is this? Well, look, look. I mean, all of Cleveland still has power. And besides, I remember you told me that I was supposed to take care of the city and that you were supposed to take care of the building. Shit. <laughs> well, see, John? Accidents happen. <laughs> Fuck you, Ted. <laughs> <laughs>